Well, I'm one of the campanas, the Umberto, and we are working here in a workshop with glass. So we provide the glass blowers with some concepts just in the middle of this beautiful square with trees over our heads. And we are thinking about make branches inspired in the branches of the trees. Also some uh, little animals from the ocean, like anemones, bacteria. Yeah, to push down. Okay. Yeah, it's beautiful. Bigger? A little bit bigger, yeah. Yeah. A tire. Round? Round like a tire. I was gonna make this longer. Okay, okay. Starts here. This area here. Okay. Yeah. Can be bigger? Oh yeah, but I have to let it cool a little bit. Okay. We have some shapes today. The main purpose is to join all them together, like something from a ruin archaeological that you dig and you find all those different elements all together, joined by the time. It would be nice if you can construct a house, a whole house, oh, yes. out of this. <laughs> Do you think it's possible? Maybe for a hotel, like a conceptual place. Well, the first project is making wishbones. I thought it was going to be a shoe-in project, but it's, uh, it's proving to be technically very difficult because of the two sides and keeping it hot enough and getting it to stretch. So. I was also thinking, like, if there was that stretch too, and it, and it, huh, and it, but I know that that's a problem. But then let's do some of those small ones okay. too. I think it could yeah, be fun are... to just do like a series of those and try to get those really long and thin. And... Okay, smoke it again. As long as it's a translucent color, like I want it just to look really fragile and glassy. I had done some pieces out of tin cans last year and then I wanted to see if we could recreate it in glass. And I wanted the many different sizes and okay. but you know it, it sort of changes as you go along. Way up on top. Okay, that's cool. Over here. And so it touches over to the other one. And pinch. A hand princess sort of. This is a project we don't want to get out of hand. If it slips between our fingers. Think that it work? That's a good one. Wunderbar. It looks almost like it's picking <laughs> up the glass. Tell me if I'm going to touch it. Just hold yeah. pressure and push yeah. down. Yeah. Push a little, blow, 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 blow. Beautiful. This is a kind of prototype which we will do right now to, to make the, these balls a little bit bigger and to melt them together. I think we're best to try this. Yeah. And if we want, we can make two connect and see what happens. We'll make like three spots and uh, we will make a hole and after we will blow inside three little balls. 
it for, for the biggest ball. Okay. Another project is like big square and the three balls inside. Yeah, and maybe one on the, the opening on the top. Okay. So we have a two hours for tomorrow. Yeah. If we'll have a luck and the weather. Yeah. We were making martini glasses. Uh, we made three prototypes uh, with proportions slightly changing from each one, but they were all pretty much the same design. Looks about the right diameter. Now, it will be easier to get the end hot, won't it? Yep. I like them. Uh, it's very impressive. Oh. Now, why don't you st stay with that size? That's going to look good. Yeah. yeah, that's a good dent. Yeah, great. Now, will that stand up? I think the next time, a little bit steeper. They're very clean and piercing into the cup I really like that look, that the handle actually extends a bit inside of the vessel. So can the height about like so? On the picture? Yeah, 11 inches, 12. Okay. I think it's fine, why not big? The connection looks great. And then, yeah. The legs take the longest. Yeah. Yeah, looks okay. You have to work in outer space. Yeah, spout opposite a leg. There. Right. Yeah, that's yeah what there. Yeah, that spout looks good. Good. Excellent. Awesome. Good job. That cool. Good job. Stand that up. was not an easy thing to make. No, but it was fun. It was a good challenge. Thank you. Thanks. Nice design. with a series of experiments with uh, wires, bigger pieces, smaller pieces, experimenting with color. Every day I always have been more improving uh, our techniques here. Well, everything black, I everything think. Everything black. Yeah. Okay. Do you think like, if we just do a small hole and then when the wire will go through? Nice image, eh? I really like it, this one. It looks awesome. Well, basically, the concept is metal hold glass and glass hold glass. How big can we work on that one? Something like this. Okay. And then the last experiment is just to create like also a glass ball. They have their own legs made out of glass and pinching it and really like pull yeah. all the sticks out of the same glass. I'm doing some holes on it. Tomorrow we will just attach the ball with the holes and the big legs and it will become like a jellyfish. And then later we will make long legs. I really like this part of it. It's beautiful. Like, with the legs, I could work more with water, but I could work with wine as well. <laughs> it will be texturized, and then the inside will be a smooth color. Maybe it's a birdhouse. <laughs> well, actually, we are doing like this uh, prehistoric animal, I think. I see it like a, more or less like a dinosaur. We've picked up a piece of blue and layered white over that. And then over top of that, we're putting a dense black. So the exterior of the bubble will be black. And when we cut it open, the interior will be a bright blue. We are ready. All right. Stop for a sec. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, it's beautiful that it changed the color. And we leave it like this, man. 
It will be like a sharp, pointy outside and very friendly inside color made out of green uh, glass. So it will be like a dangerous toy. It's a beautiful shape, that one. I like it. Today we have a really nice collection of different uh, color pieces and that I really like it. So I'm looking forward to see the results tomorrow. I'm the designer designing the pieces. It's a laboratory, so you start with a general idea and the experiment and you see what eventually evolves. So uh, sometimes you're surprised, sometimes you're disappointed. <laughs> it's all experiments with sky vodka bottles. There's a clear sky bottle and a blue one, and we've laid them together. We're working on different vases and shapes and glasses with that. It's made from apple wood and it enables us to quickly make the original bottle form and that's what we'll start with. Yeah! Don't touch it until it goes in. Squirt it up and let's try and stretch it out. This is the carafe piece in the series. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seems that the white is easier to crack up than the blue, actually. Okay, now I think if we stretch and push. There's always that nice moment between the cracked piece and the straight piece. Thank you, everybody. Woo! This morning, I made a sketch for each part. I worked out from the heart, and then there are the two lungs, the liver and the stomach, the two kidneys, and then the intestines. Okay, most Keep it a little bit irregular, give it a little bit of a shape. Now it's really almost perfect, so just give it a little bit of this imperfections. From the aorta there's three tubes coming up, so it has to be a little bit bigger. Blood is pumping out or in. Yep, now it's really nice. I love that combination, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Eric, nice job. It was really, really impressive, man. They have the tube coming up the back. Yeah. Want me to bring you any images? You let me know. Because it's going to change shape quite a bit. Ah. Oh. The stomach is going to be the brownish color. You have the shape now. The stomach is really difficult. Look at okay. that. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. Now the lungs are going to be in the blue. Beautiful. That is perfect. And it's really lungs. And I love the color. It's really this airy color. All right. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> the intestines, the, the large and the small. These ones has these ruffles. Right. Can we get those ruffles? Because I think it's going to look beautiful. Let's try and experiment and see if we can Let's make it. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, they look like guts. Diamond shears. Love. How far away are you guys? Uh, I'm just pushing over. Steve, it would be nice if we could have a field truck on the marble. Oh, guys. Pull it down, Carl. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Cut that all. Cut that all. Wow. Oh, it's very good. Very good. Good Thank energy. You. 
and clear ideas, the drawings, just everything. It, it totally works. The energy that boosts up and the, it's fantastic. Wow. It's like da 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 Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Look, yes. Ici, on a essayé de faire une, une expérimentation où on joue sur l'instantané et puis de jouer sur des éléments qui, avec lesquels on donne la force et puis qu'on a une espèce de, de résultat spontané. La spontanéité nous paraissait un élément important. Alors après, on a travaillé sur différentes structures, le bois, les, les gris métalliques. Et puis c'est la connexion, en fait, le jeu de, de souder ces deux bulles ou de, de trois bulles de verre ensemble. Tu dois voir le premier carré ici. Ok. Comme ouais, ça. Comme ça, oui. Et puis eux, ils doivent mettre après aussi un peu une pression contre le fond, non Est-ce qu'on la laisse comme ça Video kill radio. Yeah. I've got a reference from a historical pottery, which is about 4,500 years ago. This pottery we call Kayendoki, which is a fire-like shape pottery used for more like a shamanism kind of activity. Actually, this whole shape is made out from the ceramic rope, but I try to create this shape with glass. Yes, it's a very interesting idea and it translates very well. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's yeah. great. Test with this pattern. Maybe core inside is white. Okay. And uh, maybe starting thinner from here. Okay. Start getting thicker. We'll see. <laughs> possibly, possibly. Slightly getting thicker towards the bottom. To you know, pushing, pushing with this kind of glove, and uh, it'd be good to get that part in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tomorrow morning, I will. Yeah. We have a look. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we decide yeah, where to yeah, go from yeah, there. Yeah. Like this. 
This is a typical tier type of shape. I thought of doing a series of objects that are based on uh, or shaped by the gravity itself. Uh, design a series of droplets as if you have them coming from a ceiling. But I wanted to do a reverse situation where droplets come from the earth itself. So a series of objects that as if the earth is crying and, uh, and they're coming back to the sky. Hello. Shape is okay? Yep, I like it. It's beautiful. Just so I don't tip over. You're finding a middle? Yeah, I'm trying to. Shit. That's easy. <laughs> it looks easy. What are you doing? I'm just trimming this straight. I like it. Good. Good one. One more. He made it. Check it in. <laughs> Good. I like those shapes. So this is like a pacifier. Or when they do your heartbeat thing, they do these sucking things. I like those shapes. Kind of essence of this project that it started with a certain set idea, but then the idea is being developed as we go along. It started with play. Now we're already graduating onto cylindrical vases. Then we break it, shatter it, and then we use that shattered pieces as a decoration for new pieces of glass. So it's kind of being reborn. That's project called Phoenix. Now this, that's a beauty. Okay, so it's fine now. I think it's very beautiful. I have to break a million of these now. Ah. I'm afraid that some parts would end up like kind of empty, empty. not picking up there. Uh -huh. Okay, maybe we should go a few yeah. times. You know, ideally, it'd be once and pick all of this up. Uh -huh. It depends on how hot we get this I stuff. Wow. Oh. It's not going to pick anything up. Score it and break it off. What I was thinking is to do something like this. Look. Here it's going. Perfect. That's great. We should do the floating pieces. Yes, the big pieces. With flat glass. Look very good for some reason. Just not too symmetrical. Huh? I think we should stick to the first idea of different colors because it was a lot more beautiful. Give it a little more glue. Go for it, yes. That's it. Let me see it for... Oh, yeah. Hello! Bravo, guys. All right. Bravo. Tonight we make progress. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. Guys. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, really. This is like, this is a great piece. Well, at first I wanted to do something that was organic but somewhat controlled, which is uh, I wanted to create sort of forest-like landscapes within very clear shapes. I participated in what is both sort of a, a chaotic ballet of making crystal objects and controlled chaos, something that you have imagined but really changes throughout the day. So I was trying to make um, random landscapes of glass sticks and they turn into random sticks turned objects. As we, we're a little further out, I think, on this side. So today with Eve Bahar, we'll be making kind of a network that will be strips of color glass that will be laid over a box form and slumped and fused to maintain that box shape. The project is called Universal, and uh, it's a set of tabletop accessories that come together. At more of an angle, you want this to come in at more of an angle too? Oh, so, yeah. you know, it, it should match uh, if it were upside down. 
That's how he's blowing air. It's called a Sofietta. Because that other's on a steeper angle. You can see All right. That. So it could be any size bigger. I mean, the whole principle of the project is that these things um, relate to one another in a surprising way. So it's a series of tabletop accessories ranging from a bowl to this kind of double vase. And they're working on a tray. They all function independently, but then when you're not using them, you can kind of combine them into various totemic forms. All the pieces sort of interact with each other. Here it goes, you guys. You did a great job on the folds. So yeah. much down here. Yeah. Not too flat up there. So this is like a really nice continuous curve, and then there's that indentation. It's this big! <laughs> it's bigger than the furnace. So you're going to heat the top of that and then push it in. <laughs> nice, that's it. Beautiful. Once they see this, man, it's going to sell the concept, I'm telling you. Who doesn't love that form? It's gorgeous, right? Just wanna, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes it's like. Uh, here's a challenge for you, the brain. Yeah. <laughs> It's really getting brainy. Yeah. Oh my god, it looks great. <laughs> I really didn't think it would be done in one try. And tomorrow we get to see it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> We're gonna do some huge eyes. Big, big eyes. As big as possible. And we're gonna do them in different colors. We all have them, even animals, but they are all different. Ah, oh, that's nice. Ah, I love it. I love it. Oh, it's getting big and fine. <laughs> it looks fantastic. It is a beauty. It's lovely. So we did a project which began by calling it squeezing, poking and piercing to play around with the fluidity of the soft glass using the very kind of standard tools that they use for the, the, the making and blowing of the glass objects. I wanted to make a set of glasses and a pitcher. These tweezers are used for the forming of the glass vessels but then I decided also to use them for crimping and pulling and I use that process to actually create handle details. The pincing and the pulling of the glass creates a, and a textured area that allows you to actually hold the vessel uh, with kind of a real sort of positive contact. You put it back into the glory hole so many times that you lose the, the definition of the tweezer lines. That's called a punty. I love that shape. Good one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> a proposal of how I, the glass comes out. Well done. So when the glass is blown, I like the idea of the undercuts being the uh, the reason why it's stuck together. Who is asking that? Great to see each you know process, each step, how it changed. Yeah, so I, I think we'll be able to get that one pretty well. I think mm -hmm. we'll start out with that one. Perfect.
Now, is it possible to round the corner so that this is more of a rounded edge? It's great. Good. I know if it could mimic the, the contour of the form okay. coming out. Yeah. The one with the close form on top. Love it. This is the pipe. Yeah. Do all this. Three pronger, and then make sure this is nice and round and open. It actually be a little more closed because the blossom hasn't opened yet. This was an illuminating experience. I had no idea that you could achieve such dynamic and articulated forms just by layering a series of very basic techniques. I want to actually take these forms and see how they uh, interact with a bronze armature and a branch and create a lighting piece based on these illuminated blossoms. So the idea was to do a balloon and then just to do the knot and to do the, the round shape uh, at the end. And um, I would like this piece to be attached to the roof. I really like to work with glass because it needs some very good uh, know-how. And so it's just like uh, interacting and, uh, and go up to the limit of uh, the possible things. The second piece is, is to attach two pink balloons to uh, an extension, a central piece like a tree, and it's a standing piece this time. So what I want to do is create two pieces. One piece is two balls that has been flattened, mounted at 90 degree angle. So any way you look at it visually, it looks like a ball. And the second one is a ball at the flat piece. So it gives the impression that if I press that one, that will blow, and if I press this one, this will blow. It's a ball and a flat, and you turn it as this, this become a ball, this become a flat. Uh, uh, yes, so okay. there's constantly that, but uh -huh. you don't have to change. And the other will be exactly the same. Yes, okay. When you turn it, it will be a ball and a ball. And is it meant to be functional or sculptural? Or? It's functional because beauty is a function. It's a driver. It's a mental driver. No, that's a little hole to have the, the air evacuate. Right. And because the air wants to keep on expanding because it's hot. Okay, now be gentle. Bravo, guys. The opportunity of Glass Lab to blow here at Vitra. This is the uh, mecca of design, as it were, so uh, very happy to be here. So this is ice and it has the raw glass in the base and a second glass stacked into it 
to create the illusion that it's an ironic iced drink. We have the rain, <laughs> so we're making a piece called rain. So I don't know how it will be. Yeah, that's a good idea. So it's like chilling in a bucket. This was called rain. With the rain coming down here at Vitra, we leave the marks of the rain in the surface of the dish. We're just producing three blood cells, one white one and two red ones. of white mm -hmm. and then we just put a bunch of dots all, all over it. Mm -hmm. We're going to push that all in okay. and then we're going to gather more glass okay. and we're going to roll through the frit. We got just like all different possibilities of white uh -huh. and then nice. we're going to start to blow it up. Uh -huh. We might at one point in the middle of the blow up crackle it uh -huh. and then we'll heat it yeah, yeah. again so that softens all out. And then... This we have never done before. This is, <laughs> this is new. <laughs> Nobody's bleeding now. We're just producing three blood cells, one white one and two red ones. So, so happy. <laughs> the first project that we did with Glass Lab was a grenade. The second project is a bomb, so it only made sense to move into dynamite sticks. And also the dynamite stick is something that's a very clear shape and a very clear design and they can immediately get to work on making it. We did the bombs because uh, my brother William and I have been collaborating with each other for 10 years and over the course of our lives we've been experiencing all of these infestation with ants. So we've been making all of these wars between ant colonies and in the process of doing that and exploring war we've been exploring weaponry. And so we just decided that the bomb would be the next part of that process. Yeah, one more thing. Alright, can you bend it up just a little bit more? Sure. I'm chopping down these whole tubes of glass into hay that dynamite sticks are going to be sitting on top of. So we're making 10 sticks of dynamite in a bed of hay. Classic tattoos. Uh, classic tattoos and make them into a 3D form. And we're gonna see what happens. And we're gonna put a little color in it today. I have a few. I have a Lawrence Wiener from the pop up tattoo parlor last year. One of my favorite artists. Make sure the more just want a blue bomb. Black, black, 
working and doing spirals and then the cups will go here. We're gonna do this fiddle fern piece and they're all just kind of experiments. I've never done any of these before. We're just playing with glass. We've just finished making the skull with the tree growing off. And it's a candle holder. I like this in here where it starts moving because they are part of the same show. I mean this will be different. This will be the same size bit lower and then it'll build okay, up, so, right? Yep. That's great, I love that. The top one's gonna go more straight out. Yeah, right there, that's beautiful. I think we can just curl it in. Yeah, like that. But it was a hard piece. You know, oh, it was a difficult. Great. Yeah. There was a, a lot of parts, to punning it up twice. You know, there's a lot of a lot of aspects to it. I communicate through glass. I don't talk a lot. What? That's I think a lot of visual artists do that. They communicate through the material. Yeah, that is the ones that are doing. Some of them they will have some colors actually, so they will be like sunglasses. Like a fancy object to go to fancy parties. So now we are creating the lenses for it. Yeah. They will be like the dome and the, the precious objects. We just choose some objects from the context where we are, the Vitra Design Museum. So we will be encapsulating some of their objects. It's a nice shape, man. These objects, they are going to be placed in the glass when still it's hot. So basically the object is going to be interacting with the glass to really create like a unique object. After the global warming, the ozone layer broke. The same with the Burlock chair. New contemporary object. Wanted to be in the collection of Vitra. And we are going to just perpetuate this uh, moment. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to interact with uh, nature and glass, wrapping this uh, object with very thin filaments of glass, creating a new tree made of glass. It make like an L thing. This is cool. I'm looking forward to see the results tomorrow. It might be like a. It's about air and uh, and blowing. I mean, I think this is, I think the, the wonderful, wonderful thing I, I feel about glass is that it needs a human's breath to, to make it work. In the first session, we made this tool that enables us to connect uh, pipes to, to enable more than one person to blow. So it's the kind of combination of, of air from different people to inflate and, uh, and to, to create shape. Have you got a cigarette? Okay. We can see the smoke traveling through. Oh, I'm really lightheaded now. <laughs> that one's fantastic. Yeah, it's good. the sheer, the That is such a shame. We can do another. No, that one was wonderful. This one was an animal. Oh, that one was a beautiful one. Let's do some gravity. Gravity. Beautiful. Hey. This one's nice. It's gonna be well done. This might be nice if we can hold the, the tail. We... Okay, so now we'll try four of us. Easy. Beautiful. Fantastic. Stop. Uh, this is a stop. fantastic object. <laughs> this one was fantastic. There was a bit in the middle where um, the kind of the the intersection was blowing this way and it kind of was, it was moving back and forth. Within that object, you know, it, it was quite exciting because it was the process was enabling something new to happen. It's the um, idea of uh, paper tube and then with a um, cutout. 
in it and then blow this grass material in and then use this cut out as a sort of natural exit of the material to make shape. Paper, when it's wet, it goes weaker and then the shape is made uh, by the glass. Oh, maybe you have to lift it a bit now. Are you all right? Wow, wow, it's coming, yes, yes. But wow, it's really interesting now. Uh, it's more difficult to control it now. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> You can roll the bottom a bit rounder and then close in and then finish that. Yeah, beautiful. to try this one. Okay, I see. This is this is this is burning down the house. It's almost like a campfire with the end of the session. Sing. Sausages Yeah, we have to sing and then sausages out. <laughs> Good.